Hi there. Welcome to end to end solution architect session. Today I will be discussing about how can you register a domain in AWS using root 53 and how to set up the hosted zone manually. If you already know that when you register a new domain in root 53 after few minutes it automatically create the hosted zone. But sometime you don't need the hosted zone created. But later you have the domain and you need to create the hosted zone manually. So I will show you this part where where you need to set up your hosted zone manually. I am logged into my AWS management console. Let's go to root 53. You can call it root 53 or route 53 whatever you want. Here we are at dashboard of root 53. Now to register a new domain on the left side panel click on registered domain. Click on registered domain this button. If you are someone who is looking for transfer a domain from root 53 to another service provider or from another service provider to root 53 I have another tutorial but in this tutorial I will be showing you how to register a complete new domain here. So I am clicking on register domain this button. Now choose a domain name over here. In this case I have already registered a domain for this tutorial because after registration it takes time. But let me show you how did I register. Suppose we are trying to register a domain called binary to box new. Okay. And you can select the extension over here whether you are looking for the .com dot ca dot in dot uk like this you will get lot of options over here and you see that how much it will cost it is also showing so in our case let's stick to dot com now click on check it will check the domain availability now it's showing that our domain which we searched is available and it will take usd 12 dollar per year and click on add to cart we have added in our code. Now click on continue. Here on this page, you have to fill your contact detail for your domain registration. Now once you fill that, click on continue and it will show you your contact details and give attention to this uh, statement that it's saying that to make it easier for you to use root 53, we will automatically create a hosted zone. So once you create, complete the order, and domain gets registered it will automatically create a hosted zone for you you do not need to create or set up the hosted zone but in some time what happens that you want that domain to park only you do not need to create the hosted zone or you do not need that hosted zone at this point because hosted zone once you create this hosted zone per month it will charge around 50 cents. Now your next option it is showing do you want to automatically renew your domain by default it is enable it's your choice if you want to renew it automatically you keep it enable or make it disable you have to check this terms and condition and click on complete order. Now see as I was telling you that I have the domain for this tutorial already registered so I clicked on this register domain and it will show the domain the list of domain already registered so i have this domain already registered let me click over that and it will show you all the details about the domain registered now let's go to hosted zone clicking on hosted zone here we don't have any hosted zone created and we have to create our hosted zone for that domain click on create hosted zone okay enter the domain name you want to create the hosted zone for it is asking for whether it is public hosted zone or private hosted zone. I am creating this public hosted zone. You can add a tag. At this moment, I am not adding any tag over here. Now, click create hosted zone. And you see that it has created the hosted zone. By default, there are two record types are created. First one is NS, which is name server. And second one is SOA, which is called start of authority. So once you have created this hosted zone, you can create the record. Click on create record and here you will get which kind of record you want to create. See, you will get multiple record types over here. 
suppose you are trying to point your domain name to a particular EC2 instance. So you create a record type and give the IP address of your EC2 instance. Otherwise, you click on this alias, you choose that which kind of services you are trying to point. If you are trying to point a S3 website endpoint, means your static website in your S3 bucket and you are hosting your website in S3 buckets, you want your domain name to point to that S3 bucket, then you just click over that, choose the region. Suppose I'm cho uh, choosing any region, uh, it is Europe, London, and you will get the S3 bucket created under this region listed over here. Currently, I don't have any S3 bucket created in this region, that's why it is not coming. But if you have that created in this particular region, it will come and you have to select that and create the new record for it. Okay. If you want to create a subdomain of your domain and point it to, to this S3 bucket, then it's basically, suppose you are creating a blog subdomain. So it is blog.binary2box.com, which is basically your custom domain name and it will route your traffic to that particular um, uh, services, AWS services, whether it is S3 or API gateway or to another hosted zone or to another application load balancer like this. Okay. I'm not creating this record at this moment. So I'm just canceling over here. So I hope till now you have understood that how to register a new domain and how to create the hosted zone manually. Thank you for your time. See you in our next session.